In this episode I want to concentrate and tell you a few secrets about the new format of eBay and things you need to watch out for carefully. Make sure you check out the first episode of this video, The Secrets to Selling on eBay. You won't believe how much I just sold this on eBay for. I apologise up front for the audio dropping in and out during this video. It was an extremely windy day and perhaps not the best choice of equipment with me. So please bear with me and I'll do the best I can. Thank you. There's a drone up there. In the last episode I spoke about some ways you can make money on eBay. In part one I sold, it's not quite vintage, but a, a very old clock, car clock for a friend of mine. Now even though I've been on eBay for many years I don't normally look too much at the fees. I see they pop up every month. G'day. So in part one I spoke to you about ways you can make money on eBay even if you don't have things to sell yourself. Um, that episode's up here. But make sure you come back to get the second part. I'm not a high user of eBay anymore so I just don't usually worry about it. However, because I was working on commission for this one, I wanted to make sure that I printed out every aspect to give to my mate, just to show him that, you know, this is the cost. I was blown away when I saw the fee for this clock. And there were some other fees on there as well. So I decided to ring eBay which, in all fairness, they are pretty quick to respond to a call, and explore a few aspects of these fees. Yes, the first one, of course, is commission. It's 10 point something percent, capped at $440. So, in roundabout figures, if you sell something on eBay for $100, they take $10, and that's fair. Conversely, if you sell something for $1,000, they take $100. And upwards until it's capped at $440. Something else I wasn't aware of. And when I think of it, I've spent so much money I didn't need to do. Now here's the other aspect that I inquired about and totally wasn't aware of. A couple of things. And I'm going to tell you how to save money by avoiding these things. One is, I wondered what the postage fee was all about. And the eBay representative said, well, you clicked on the button print postage label, um, which I did. The only reason I did that, and actually I've done it a few times um, over recent years, not to actually do anything with it, because what I normally do is just copy and paste the address, take it to the post office with the item, and then just write down the address and post the item. Now here's the shocking part, and this is where I hope it will save you money. Never press that unless you intend to do the following. When you press that, you are officially printing an Australia Post label, which you can then stick to the box. Um, I guess you can get adhesive sheets of paper if you really wanted to be fancy. And that is then paid. There's a barcode thing, I'm not sure what QR code. Post Office merely scans those, beep, and it's paid for. You don't pay for anything else. Now that's a set fee and for that service eBay charges this figure here which is roughly $15. So that in itself I guess is handy but be totally aware that every time you click that you're going to pay that money. Now in this case they said they'd reverse the situation because I genuinely wasn't aware of it. But I hope I'll stay aware of it in future and I, I hope this helps you. The other way to do it, if you just want to copy and paste the address, like I just described, is look in your sales and you'll find where the person was from. But do not, unless you're prepared to pay the $15, click on print label. And there's also an associated fee for something else I'm going to tell you about now. When you use the postage calculator on eBay, it gives you a number of options. Now I normally click one or two of those options, standard post, express post, what have you. And I click subject to where the buyer is. Unbeknown to me, there's actually a fee for listing a postage price. 
So eBay's changed in a lot of ways since I first started, or unless I was paying a lot that I shouldn't have. So as the eBay person told me, if you want to avoid that fee as well, sell everything as free postage, but then mark up on top of what you actually want for the item to include the cost of the postage. So you can calculate that either on the Australia Post website or through the eBay calculator, but just don't set a postage price. Always have it free shipping. That way you'll avoid that cost totally. Of course, it's a bit easier if you're selling with a set price, because say, if you want $100 for the item and it will cost you $10 to post, anywhere within Australia I'm talking about, then you set the buy it now price to $110 so you're not out of pocket for that postage. Something else that came as a huge shock to me was that there's actually a fee for using PayPal. In the example of the clock I sold, it was $39.70, which is somewhere in the vicinity of 4% they charge. Now that may be okay on small value items, but it does go up quite a way. The problem is eBay pretty well relies on people using PayPal. And yes, it is totally convenient, especially for the buyer. But when you're a seller, because eBay insists on an authorised method of payment, you either have to use PayPal or, and here's the little trick around that, you can stipulate the payment for the goods and services you're selling is paid either via credit card or direct deposit to your bank account. The downside of that is that most people do like using PayPal to buy for the convenience, and I understand that. But just be aware of it. Also worth noting if you're a seller on eBay, these days you can no longer leave negative or neutral feedback for a buyer that does the wrong thing by you. For example, a non-paying bidder. And I actually spoke to eBay about that on another occasion, and apparently the people in charge think it's much more negative to be able to leave negative feedback. Well, go figure. Um, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of feedback, doesn't it? So I certainly hope those are a few little tips that may save you some money. Comment below if you've experienced the shock like I did when I looked into the fees. Be very aware of these fees because they're coming out of your pocket. It's a lovely day here today in Brisbane, but the wind has picked up a bit around midday. A little bit rough to fly the drone, but anyway, it's doing okay. And if you haven't checked out the first episode of selling on eBay with a few ideas, do so now. Well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Remember to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notifications of my future videos. Cheers. Have a great day. Sometimes there's no one else who loves me like you used to. Sometimes we're not ourselves There's no one I can turn to